Hello, Great Hearts Texas families, faculty, and staff, and welcome to our series, Championing Great Hearted Texas Leaders. I'm here with Headmaster Absher of Great Hearts Western Hills Lower School, and I'm so excited to talk with her and for us to explore more about our classical mission, model, and culture at this beautiful academy. Ms. Absher, thanks so much for talking with me today. It's been an honor getting to know you over the years, working with you, and visiting your classrooms today. I know you've been here from the beginning of the school. Tell us a little bit about what brought you to Great Hearts and your journey here. Yeah, thanks for having me, Curtis. It's an honor to sit down and have this conversation with you. I am fortunate enough that I have been a part of the Spartan community for six years now. So I was an inaugural faculty and family member. Um, and so I'm really lucky to be able to call this community mine professionally and personally. I feel very connected to our community and very invested in our community. And as far as I'm concerned, this is the only place that I will ever be. You started as a teacher, right? Se second grade? Second grade teacher. Okay. To be. To be. What was your favorite thing to teach? That is a difficult question. My favorite thing to teach was probably Spalding because okay. of the routine that goes along with it. It was my old faithful. It was my reliable um, thing, especially as a first year Great Hearts teacher, because it's so different from the way that you teach in other places. I would say my second favorite was science because we allow our children to explore and to really interact with our content. It really opened up my world too as a teacher of um, just teaching in a really intentional and meaningful way. And I was really able to do that with science. The inquiry and the delight that mm -hmm. kids can have when you let them explore the content. Yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah. So um, Ms. Absher, this goes back a little bit to our mission statement. Mm -hmm. Our mission is to cultivate the hearts and minds of students in pursuit of truth, goodness, and beauty. Yeah. What part of that most resonates with you personally and with you as a leader? Yeah. I'd say for me personally, because even as a school leader, I'm a teacher at heart. That is the core and the root of who I am and what I've always wanted to do with my life is to be a teacher. And so I might be doing it in a different way where I'm teaching the teachers more often than the students, but my incoming to great hearts as a teacher was that I finally was able to step into an arena of education where I was teaching students in the way that I'd always dreamt I would be able to do. Mm -hmm. um, there was a lot of constraints put on me as a teacher prior to coming to great hearts academies. And I finally felt like when that moment, when you had that moment in your classroom with your students and that conversation was just beautiful and wonderful, and you knew that if you just had five or 10 more minutes to keep going, that you would get to like the precipice of, of yes. that idea or that thought or that theory. And I was able to do that at Great Hearts Academies. And I'd not had that opportunity to do that that meaningfully in the places that I had taught prior to it, just because of the constraints that were put around me as an educator in the, the you know, the very public sector. Yeah. And you know, it goes a little bit to like the hearts and minds, right? We want our kids to fall in love with science and the English language and phonemes and phonograms. Yeah. And um, when an opportunity comes up to really talk about a virtue or even something just happens in class because yeah. children are children and they're going to make mistakes, but that's also how they learn. And so when those things arose, you're able to take the time as a teacher to slow down and to address that in that moment and to really spend that time with your class or with a small group of students to hone in on that because that's how we develop our students is over time. Yeah, the teachable moments mm -hmm. in many ways. Yeah. I love that. Um, Headmaster Absher, what does it mean to be a classical school? Mm. What does that look like? How do you describe that to parents? Yeah. For me, and a lot of when I speak to parents is through personal experience so with me having my own two scholars in our academy. I am, I am, I'm walking the walk, you know, mm -hmm. I'm talking the talk with my family. We, we cry over Spalding when we go home. There's time nights that we have our own frustrations. And so for me as a parent, but also as an educator, it's just developing that well-rounded Renaissance man and woman. And so it's that exposure to our curriculum, but in all areas, but it's also the way in which we approach students in their unstructured time. So the way that we approach recess and, and PE and, and all the other times in the school day. So it's not just about the curriculum for me, it's about that well-rounded approach to developing a child into being an independent thinker one day, but that also could have a conversation with many different people from different backgrounds. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, as we were walking around your school, we have the brand new basketball court outside uh, that students are playing on now as we speak. Yeah. Uh, and not only are they, you know, um, becoming athletes and playing sports and intramurals, um, but they're also building friendships, right? And learning how to communicate and collaborate with each other. And that the first day, so our basketball court is now two weeks old to us. Uh -huh. The very first day I looked outside 
Um, and I have no idea where any of these students were actually supposed to be, but I was just happy because I saw a 10th grader playing basketball with a second grader. Yeah. And where else but a K-12 academy do you get to see that? Yeah. And the friendship and the virtue um, between those students. Yeah. That's wonderful. Families, faculty, and staff, thank you so much for joining me at Headmaster Absher in exploring the amazing culture, model, mission, and teachers at Great Hearts Western Hills Lower School and the thumos, the spiritedness of its culture and community. Please join us next time as we continue to champion our great-hearted Texas leaders. Thank you.